Okay, you guys, this is my 20 minute at home workout routine with minimal equipment. We will be needing two things, a bench or a chair to put our foot up on and some dumbbells. A couple optional things are a sit up mat for your back and or push up bars. I like to do use the bars when I'm doing push ups, but it's totally up to you guys. So let's get straight into the workouts. We're going to be doing six moves three times through with 30 seconds on and the 30 second rest. The first move is a single leg squat. So we're gonna be putting one leg up on the bench or the chair, doing as many reps as we can in 30 seconds, doing the other side for 30 seconds, and then we got a 30 second rest. Let's get into it. Are you guys ready? Let's get set. I'm gonna start with my weak side leg first. Let's go, 30 seconds. Now you can start with weight or dumbbells in your hands, but I like to start without for a first set, just to kind of get my balance, get things warmed up. Keep it up, we're over halfway through. And you can count if you want, keep track. I just like to go for 30, see how many I can get. Next side. Find your balance and think about the muscles you're using. It's not about how fast you can do the move, it's about thinking and focusing on each particular muscle group. Breathe. These are tough. Just a few more left. Oh. Woo. That's a burn. Hopefully you guys, you feel that burn. I am now going to grab some weight. Now I recommend a bow flex setup like this with adjustable weights. You guys can get some of these if you're really into it. They're quite an investment and I highly recommend. You can use your own dumbbells too. Let's get into it. Get set up. Just about ready to go here. Be sure to breathe. Let's go. Like I said, it's not about how fast, it's about focusing on the move, having good form, good posture. Keep it up, you guys. About to switch to the other side. Let's get set up. Woo! Burn. Don't hesitate to take a break. These are difficult, especially if it's your first time. Whew. I'm feeling the burn for sure. Now I'm using about 15 pounds in each hand here. Feel free to use more or use less, depending on your level. Whew. 30 seconds off, you guys, let's take a break and a breather. That's two sets down. We got one more set to go. Take a breather. Grab some water if you need it. You will be sweating. I've got a towel here too. Highly recommend. Okay, you guys got about 10 seconds. Let's get set up. And let's go. Down, up, down, up, down. Now this third set should be the hardest. If it's not, you need to up your weight. If you're using 20s, grab 25s. A couple more left. Woo, my knees are shaking. My knees are shaking. Ooh. There we go, other side guys. No break in between. Down and up, down and up. Now I like to do these barefoot. If you have too much sole under your foot, you can kind of get off balance. I like to have my feet spread, my toes spread wide and feel it. There we go, you guys. First move down. We got 30 seconds and then we're moving into push-ups. So grab your push-up bars if you have them. 
Otherwise, get ready on the floor. Let's do some push-ups. Okay, you guys. Got a few seconds here, keep breathing. Get ready, three sets of push-ups here. Ready? As many as you can do in 30 seconds. And again, it's not about how fast. Ooh, it's about that form. Focus on those arms, that chest, and even that back. Woo! Take a break. We got 30 seconds. You can stay down. Can do a little stretch. Sometimes my neck gets sore, especially if we're doing these in the morning, which Aaron and I highly recommend. Doing a morning workout straight away in the day. Because guess what, as the day goes on, you're gonna lose time. So get these workouts done in the morning if you can, but whatever works for you. Let's go, guys. Second set, 30 seconds, here we go. Like I said, you can count if you wanna keep track. Ooh. Starting to slow down, that's okay. Take your time, focus on those muscle groups. You wanna keep that butt down, that core tight. Oh. There we go, second set done. 30 seconds of rest. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a drink. I recommend you guys do the same, because this is a no joke workout. I stay hydrated. Stay cool if you can. Let's go guys, third set. Third set coming up. Three, two, one, let's hit it. Oh yeah. You should totally be feeling the burn by now. We're only a few minutes in guys. This isn't gonna get any easier. Stick with it. Take a break if you need to. Breathe. Feel those muscles burn. Woo. Okay, you guys. Next up, abs. So if you can, if you haven't noticed, I've been sneaking in the difficult ones, legs and abs for the beginning of our workout. We all love chest and arms, but these matter too. We're doing leg lifts. Ready, on your back, get set. Let's do it for 30 seconds. Straight legs if you can. Remember to breathe. Keep breathing, keep that core flexed, those legs as straight as possible. I've got far from perfect form, but I'm doing my best. Ooh. Okay guys, take a rest, take a rest. 30 seconds off. I don't know about you, but I'm sweating all over this mat. Move around, shake it out. Get ready for round two. We've got round two of abs coming up. Get ready. Now you can do a side twist to the side, to each side if you guys wanna hit each side in specific. So that would look like this. Turn your knees to the right or turn your knees out to the left. Ooh, just throwing a couple in there makes it hard. Ooh, burning. Keep those legs straight. Ooh, oh, break. Breathe for 30 seconds here, you guys. Breathe. Ooh, 
It's about 95 degrees out here in our garage. Which I don't mind. I love the warm weather, but sweating like a pig right now. So get ready, you guys. Third set. Set number three coming up. Finish your abs strong. You're going to feel these tomorrow. Three, two, one. Hit it. 30 seconds. Now, if you get brave or you're feeling strong, you can bring those hands up. Woo! That makes a difference. Or if you're feeling weak, tired, it's okay. Put those hands under your butt cheeks. Kind of spread those thumbs and use those hands as a little bit of a springboard. Woo! Last one. Oh! Okay, you guys, 30 seconds off. We are done with abs. We're moving on to our fourth move, and that is bent over row. So I would recommend going over to your bench or your chair, or simply grabbing your weights and using not too much to hurt your back, but just enough that you can get a, a decent workout here. We're working the back and you should feel it. Let's go, 30 seconds. Now you can rotate every other arm or you can just do one arm at a time. I'm gonna do one arm at a time. When we beep, we're gonna switch. And again, you guys, I'm using these Bowflex Select Dumbbells. All right, guys, let's go to the other side. 30 more seconds. These Bowflex Select Dumbbells can connect to your app, track your reps, track everything. I seriously love them. Woo. Keep going, you guys. And guess what? We're done. Take 30 seconds off. Take a breather, grab a towel. I don't know about you guys, but I am sweating and I'm feeling it too. Here we go, 15 seconds left. Let's get ready. If you need to up the weight, go ahead and do so. These are easy to do more weight on. Our backs are strong. Here we go, right arm. Let's go, 30 seconds. Like I said, keep track if you want. I'm gonna turn so you guys can get a little bit better look from the side. Now, like I said, I recommend if you can to put your left hand down just to stabilize yourself. You gotta have a real tight core if you're gonna be using these weights in a bent over position. All right, guys, other side. You don't wanna be using too much weight and hurting your back. So I'm using way less weight than I normally would, but I'm doing higher reps. Woo, and I can feel the burn, that's for sure. Keep going, you guys, woo. I'm getting the shakes. Almost done, one more. Yeah. Okay, you guys, 30 seconds off. We've got one more set. I'm gonna move my ab mat out of the way here. We are done with abs. We're gonna finish back. And we're gonna move on to shoulders and finish with biceps. Here we go. Last rep, bent over row. Keep that core flexed, those legs strong, and pump. Right arm now, as many as you can and 30 seconds with good form. Not about how fast, it's about good form, it's about focus. Think about that muscle, think about that arm, think about that lower back, the legs, everything is working now. That's why I like these full body workouts. About to switch, Whew. last set you guys. Left side, 
There we go, keep it up. Oh. 15 seconds. Ooh, how's it feel? You have a, str a strong side and a weak side? I think we all do. Ooh. Do as many as you can. Here we go, done. All right, you guys, two more moves left. We are almost done. Get ready for shoulder press. Take a breather, grab a towel. I don't know about you guys, but I am sweating and I'm feeling it too. And we're gonna move on to shoulders and finish with biceps. Okay, you guys, we got just a few seconds here. Grab your dumbbells and let's get going. Shoulder press, ready, go. Again, core tight. You're not going too fast. You're thinking about the shoulders. Ah, and having perfect form. Now some people say stop at 90, so my elbow has a 90 degree bend. I've had other trainers that say go all the way down. It's all up to you and how you feel. Some people have shoulder pain that restricts their movement. Oh, 30 seconds, let's take a break you guys. And feel it out for you. Like I said, if this is your first time, you don't even have to use weight. Maybe you're just doing your own body weight. You're getting the feel of it. That's totally fine. Again, this is only a 20 minute workout. So you can do this two or even three times if this isn't enough. Also, you can always bump up the weights, right? So let's get back after you guys. We got another set here. Woo! Let's hit it. Now I prefer to go out wide with my shoulders. Now some people We'll do a shoulder press like this, out in front or even out to the side, but they'll have their wrist turned. I prefer it this way, but again, it's all up to you. Woo! These are burn. These are gonna burn. Woo! Yeah, feel that burn, guys? There we go, 30 seconds off. Now, it seems like I should be able to do more. When you do a couple sets or you do the bar and the bench, it seems like you can muscle up a bunch, but this is more of a hit style workout. We're taking shorter breaks, we're doing more reps, so I'm using lower weights, and guess what? I feel it and I'm gonna feel it tomorrow too. So don't be afraid of the higher reps and the lower weights. This is all training. Keep it going, guys. Ready? Last set. Up, pump, and again. This is all up to you. If you want to do fewer reps in the 30 second range with higher weights, whoo, go ahead and do so. Keep it going, guys. I'll give you a backside look. Hopefully I've got decent form. You can see that back working, you guys. This is our knot. Whoo, that's done. Okay, you guys. Last move, number six, bicep curls. Let's get into it. You got 20 more seconds to rest. I'm actually gonna grab another sip of water quick. All right, guys, grab a drink. Let's get ready for our last move, bicep curls. 30 seconds, let's go. Now again, I am barefoot and I'm always standing. That's what makes these full body workouts because look, I'm not using just my biceps here. I'm using my shoulders, I'm using my glutes, I'm using my core, and I'm definitely using my legs. Spread those toes out wide. Feel that burn. These are the muscles you want everybody to see. We all want big arms, right? Woo, 30 seconds, guys, let's take a breather. You want big chest, you want big arms, you've got to do big weights. So this is a case where, like I said, if you're feeling like you want to go heavier, by all means, do so. I'm going to stick with these for the sake of not having to fumble around. But again, if you guys have the weights, the other weights, or you have these select uh, Bowflex like mine, by all means, bump it up. Let's go. 30 seconds on. Slow and steady. 
Good form, you guys. It's all about good form and feeling the burn. You know what? I am gonna bump up my weights after this one. I'm gonna grab a little bit more. I'm feeling it today. And we're almost done. Now, like I said, you can do this again. You can do it three times. What I like to do is sometimes finish with an interval run, whether outside or on the treadmill. Let's take a breather, 30 seconds off. If you guys would like to see my interval run, either on the treadmill, outside, leave a comment below, let me know. That's like a 20 minute interval. You can add on to the hind end of this workout. I also have like a five to 10 minute stretch video. If you guys wanna see that, comment below. I'm gonna grab my weights, because I said I was. Get ready for that third set. Okay, you guys, here we go. I bump mine up. Woo! Now I can feel it. This is it, finish strong, you guys. Finish strong here. Hopefully you've enjoyed this workout. It doesn't take a lot of time, but it does take hard work. Woo! It definitely takes some sweat. Here we go, finish strong, you guys. Ooh, I'm feeling it. There we go. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this workout. I hope you're as sweaty as I am. It is dripping over here. Grab a water, grab your towel. If you guys want any of this equipment, whether it be the push-up bars, the mat, or my favorite, these Bowflex Select dumbbells, look in the links below. You will find all of that stuff down there. If you want, say, our top seven protein sources on a plant-based diet. We've got that video already done. That'll be linked below. Leave us a comment if there's anything else that you liked or didn't like you want to see in the future. Please let me know. You guys know the drill. Eat, move, rest, your best. Peace. We'll see you next time.